the crystal clear waters surrounding a coral reef look healthy and clean. In this city beneath the sea, animals like sponges work hard to filter impurities out of the water. But no matter how clean their home is, fish can get sick, just like people. They may not get sore throats or earaches, but they have their share of medical problems. Bacteria and parasites eat away at their bodies. It's like having an itchy rash. If fish don't get help, the tiny pests can leave wounds that get infected. The fish might even die. This grouper is in really bad shape. Just look at those ugly sores. Luckily, there are places like doctor's offices on the reef. They're called cleaning stations. The doctors are cleaner fish, certain species of wrasses and gobies who remove the dangerous bacteria and parasites. Some fish come in when they are sick, and others come in for their regular checkup. It's a great place to see fish, because sooner or later, just about everyone stops in for a visit. Since cleaner fish can't very well put out a sign like human doctors do, they use the color of their bodies to let everyone know who they are. Cleaner fish don't wear boring old white like human doctors. No, they prefer flashy blue and black stripes that make it easier to see them on the busy reef. Sometimes colors aren't enough. The cleaner fish have to perform a dance to get attention. This wrasse is bobbing up and down to let the patients know the doctor is in. Patients also advertise. They swim into the general area and, well, start acting strange. This patient hangs upside down. Some go vertical. Mouths gape open, fins flex. This hogfish extends its mouth parts. Say, ah. Don't try this at your doctor's office. They might think you need your head examined instead of your tonsils. Once patients get noticed, they don't have to fill out forms or wait for hours. The cleaners get right to work. They don't use tools, they use their teeth. That's right, these doctors nibble away at pesky parasites and dead skin. The parasites can be anywhere, and the hungry cleaners make sure they get every last bit. Their fish patients even let them clean inside their mouths. These cleaners are more like dentists, since they work around teeth. But since they're so small, they have to go right into the patient's mouth to do their job. They're probably the only dentists that have more to be afraid of than their patients. But few cleaners are ever eaten. Patients are careful not to devour their doctor, especially if they found one they like. At the cleaning station, everybody wins. The patients get rid of parasites, the doctors get a tasty meal, and the reef keeps disease under control. Everything seems to even out, but there's always someone who tries to cheat the system, even on the reef. The fang blenny looks just like a cleaner, but it's not. Using a perfect disguise, it gets close to bigger fish who think they're about to be clean. But instead of helping remove parasites and dead skin, the blenny nips off a piece of flesh or fin and zooms away with a mouthful of stolen food. Maybe that's why some patients get a little touchy. Still, most fish leave the station satisfied. They may not get a piece of candy on the way out, like at one of our doctor's offices, but there's one big advantage to a cleaning station. You never have to worry about having a shot.